going on, guys? So you wanna know how to hook up a relay. Oh. Uh, Y'all, that's good for like, uh, if you have, uh, let's say, something that's drawing a lot of power and you don't want to burn switches up and you don't want stuff coming on by itself and all that type stuff, a relay is pretty much the best way to go with all that. I mean, like if you hook, LED lights ain't that bad, but regular lights, they is, but I want to do it on everything that I do because I didn't had a car to catch on with well, a car didn't catch on fire it almost did a uh, wire burn up under the dashboard and it was like a toaster oven just a big red line it was about to burn the whole car up that's when I didn't know no better that was in the uh, let's see early 90s that was about the early 90s I guess but the uh, on the previous video I put in some factory styled fog lights in my truck 2020 Chevy Silverado and uh, I'm gonna show you how to wire this and the little tools I'm gonna use and everything most time a relay just a little short explanation most time a relay they like review, uh, reviews <laughs> reduce voltage drop you know, you can put your meat on that, it's going to show whatever, whatever. But there's like a, and you won't get your full effect. You know, this here is telling you. It's telling you something when I'm doing this. I just can't get the words out. And you don't want to overload your switches and the accessories either. So you use this and a fuse. I'm going to use, I think, a 15-amp fuse. And you want the fuse as close as you can to the power source. Cause if anything go bad in it, it will it will just burn out right there and call it a day. Versus having to go through the whole system like I did back in the days and that whole wire was red, could set the whole car on fire. Alright. We're gonna turn it over. Some of these will come with like five pins on it. This one got four pins. All I need is four pins. This one that's marked. Now you wanna write this down now. 87 and you flip this over but in hell <laughs> wait a minute y'all what in the chicken scratch hell is this here going on <laughs> but a lot of times you can flip this over and this here will be Boom, land up with it. So that threw me off. But, because I like doing it like that, but but it's also on the other side. All right, we're going to turn around. 87 is right here. Let me see what it says on this side. See that way over there. I'm going to go stay to this side. 87. Not 87A, if you got it on yours, but 87. Straight 87. That'll be the one that you hook up your lights to or train horn. Anything that you want to hook up goes to 87. Now, 85 is. I can't see that. Right here. Well, I'm just going to give you the numbers. I get that in daylight, I can see it. 85. You're going to run that to a ground, which what I would do, I take a little pigtail and I run it with a loop and then I screw this into the vehicle. That's my ground. You, when you do a ground or anything, you want it to be short as possible. You don't want no long ground. The shorter your ground, the better it is. All right, and 86, that's this one. 86 is going to come from whatever switch you're using. Whatever the switch is, like if you got a toggle switch, a light switch, whatever it is, it's going to come to 86. And the last one, no matter how you do this, the last one is going to be 30. This is going to be straight to the battery. This is where you want the fuse at on your 30. Short as possible. Get down, come out about yay long. That's about six inches or so. 
put your fuse right there bow then you run your wire to the battery and like I said this mounts to the electrical porter not electrical porter but the metal porter of the car with your little ground come up the hill and you ready to roll because soon as you cut on the switch whatever switch you getting on it's gonna come into 86 and then you already got power to it from the battery and that's gonna open this relay up like well it's gonna complete it you know and you're good to go so that is a 30 amp 12 volt relay you can go to AutoZone or wherever and just pick you up one right, let's get out here and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna I'm gonna fancy this up I hope I still got enough parts uh, like um, connectors and everything and I got this fancy little heat gun I usually use my big heat gun but I found me a little fancy little small one, so I want to utilize it today and I'm gonna make it look all fancy for you let's go Y'all, this is a trip, ain't it? <laughs> yep, this is a trip. I'm sure people gonna get super mad see me jump out of here. But hey, it is what it is. Look at him. Oh, uh, I found this one right here that I got sticking out. This fuse here is where I'm gonna uh, run me a wire from. You see, I got a couple of them ran for other stuff on one of those legs. I'm gonna run me a wire from here as my switch. So when I cut my uh, ignition switch on, that's gonna be my switch wire. And I'm gonna run it all the way up front. Somewhere right here on the body is where I'm gonna mount the relay. And I got plenty of options right here for the, which I'm probably gonna go here for my uh, actual power wire. So, get the doing something. Here are the parts I'm using. Use self-tapping screw. Here's the bit for it. That's going to uh, mount my relay down. This is going to the power wire of the battery. That's going to be to the ground. These are going to be to each of the terminals of the relay. Here's the wire. Here's my fuse. I'm going to go with a 20 amp. Here's my little heat gun I was talking about. And I got these uh, shrink wraps, the heat shrink. And you know, you gotta have you some pliers. And that's what I'm gonna use. Hi. Yeah, they make a pigtail type. I'm gonna show you one, but the ones I got fit for bigger fuses. I don't have any that's fit for these little small janky fuses like that. <laughs> okay, y'all, that's it. And I'm going to tell you something else I did. I changed a lot of it up what I was going to do. I didn't use any shrink wrap. Um, because my shrink wrap was actually too small. So, there's the one fuse running up. And I actually use another fuse. Cause this fuse here actually was the one that gotta have for the better. But I went ahead and used the other one. You know, just just for safety purposes. Alright. See it grounded. Running back. And you got the wire and I told you how to do the wire in the beginning of all this. And there it is.
There you have it. Well, I don't know why I showed you that. <laughs> because actually, uh, this would have been for the last video, but there you have it. That's how you re uh, wire relay.